Okay, let's start. Good morning. Is that all you have got? Good morning. Morning. Good. Now, today we will be having a lecture on data serialization and XML. Uh, who can tell me what XML stands for? Professor. Uh, yeah. for markup language. Good. Two points. But that's not all it stands for. What else does it stand for? It also stands for Express My Love. That's right. Today, we are not only going to teach you about extensible markup language, we are also going to show you that what we have learned from XML can help you to get together with a special someone. This will be an important lecture to all your singles out there, so make sure you pay attention. Okay, Yiju, what is data serialization? It is a process that converts a data structure or object into a form that can be stored and transported, like an XML document. But why is data serialization so important? Well, let's look at some real life case studies. Hey, can you really see this like a nice place? Yeah, yeah. Hey, my friends go to Happy Valley all the time. Yes, it's nice. So what do you think of Happy Valley? Oh, pretty good. Oh, I see. The problem was that the girl and guy were thinking and operating on different platforms. He was unable to convey his feelings in a manner that she understood. That's right. Now let's watch the correct way to do it. Oh. My friends went to Happy Valley last weekend. This okay. is really enjoyable. Oh, how about we go there this weekend? Alright, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Just as it is important to successfully convey expressions of love between two different personalities, it is important to ensure that two applications or databases are able to exchange data regardless of their operating platforms. So, data serialization allows for data transport between originally incompatible applications. What other uses does it have? Let's take a look at another case study. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, oh, thank you. No present? Oh, the problem was that the guy did not put down his feelings in a persistent or concrete form that remained after he left. You're right. So let's take a look at the correct way to do it. Hello, happy hey. birthday. Oh, thank you. And this is for you. Uh, just as it is important to express your love concretely, data serialization allows you to convert your data into a persistent or stored form, which can still be referred to even after the original application closes. And there's still another important lesson from data serialization. Let's take a look. Okay. I have to go now and you can use my computer as you like. Oh, Alright, thank you. As you can see, the problem was that the couple was unable to share their belongings because of a lack of common agreement. That's right. Now let's watch a correct way to do it. Okay, I have to go now and you can use the computer as you like. Password, meta language. Alright, thanks. It is important to work out a common agreement to share your belongings. Data serialization allows you to share the data across networks of people and organizations. That's opening up many opportunities for collaboration and synergy. So remember, data serialization allows you to transport data between two incompatible systems, store data in a persistent format, and share your data with many other individuals to bring about mutual benefits. So, we have learned what data serialization is, but what exactly is XML and how do we write it? Well, we can learn all about XML by studying how to plan the perfect date. Did you realize 
nice structure of it now. Is it like a dating guide? No, I didn't. That's amazing. To start off, let's take a look at what you shouldn't be doing on a date. So where are we going today? Just here, what an excellent spot. What? Here? Clearly, you shouldn't be having a date in the classroom. And this is what you should be doing. Where are we going today? Just here. Do you like it? Yes, XML uses a hierarchical model that stores data in a tree-based structure. But remember to select your dating location properly. Don't choose trees with too many roots or you will feel uncomfortable with sitting on it. Yes, similarly, XML should only have one root element. And after picking a nice spot, you will have to entertain your girlfriend. Hey, Bojo. Is there a set of rules that dictate what we can or cannot do on a date? Well, there are no fixed set of activities that you have to do. You can do practically anything you want, as long as both of you enjoy it. It's just like in XML, where there are many elements enclosed in different kinds of tags. But there are no fixed naming rules for tags. You can name them anything you want. Okay, let's see what else we should Okay, let me tell you a romantic story. Alright. Once there was a girl waiting for her boyfriend, and oh, I want to play my Angry Bird. Oh, I Angry Bird. Story. Angry Bird. That wasn't very nice. Remember, if you are seeing someone else, Okay, now let's see the next thing we have to watch out for. Hey, Xiaojuan. What do you call me? What the hell? What the hell is Xiaojuan? Uh, uh, Basic. Sorry. Never, ever, ever get the girls' names wrong during the date. Yes, correct naming is very important, especially in XML syntax. In XML, names of tags are case sensitive and attribute values must be quoted. There's one last thing you have to remember. Hey, but, but we haven't finished the game! You have to finish your dating activities before you can end your date. Do not end the date before completing the dating activity. Similarly, in XML, don't close an outer tag before closing all the inner tags. Make sure you nest your tags properly. So, in summary, make sure that you follow our tips above for a perfect date. And the perfect XML document. So, we have covered a lot of information. Let's take a break for now. I was just thinking that the way girls dress is very important. Well, it is very important indeed. Yes, so do you think I should date girls who wear jeans? Well, jeans are neat and are convenient for activities, but I don't think it is suitable for dates. Yeah, it's like a relation model. It keeps data neat and order with data integrity rules, and it's very convenient for data query. But the data structure isn't very nice to look at. It is not human readable. That's true. Personally, I prefer skirts. Look, they are so nice to look at. They are so human readable. Just like XML. Furthermore, jeans may not suit every kind of girl, but no matter which kind of girl wears a skirt, she will definitely look good in it. Yeah. Just like skirts are compatible with all kinds of girls, XML is compatible with many different kinds of applications. And for jeans, you can only have the fixed design with two legs. It's so boring, not like skirts, which can have so many interesting designs. That's right. Just like skirts, you can have many different kinds of them. XML is extensible with many different kinds of tags that you can define on your own. 
In addition, the wearing of skirts is well supported by all the male students in Qinghua. Stop! Tup de! Tup de! Tup de! Just like XML, which is supported by so many people all around the world. Mm -hmm. But I think there is a problem with the skirt. What? Do you think that it's too long? Just like XML with its verbal structure, it takes up too much space. Yeah, I do like shorter skirt. <clears throat> what are you doing? Uh, uh, What's this about short skirts? Uh, I, I was just telling Hui about how XML is like a long skirt. Whereas short, short skirt is like uh... Jason? Jeris with object notation? Oh yes, just look at this short skirt which is like Jason. It has all the advantages of long skirts, such as being very human readable and compatible with all kinds of girls, just like XML. But it's even better because it's more shorter and more lightweight. But there are still few more problems with it. Short skirts are still not very well accepted in formal settings. In general, long skirts like XML is more widely used and well supported. Also, let me ask you, are you feeling comfortable with looking at a girl in a long skirt? Yes! Uh, then how about a short skirt? I may be quite nervous. Yes, just like how a long skirt allows people to look at a girl comfortably, XML presents mixed content in its natural order for people to read it comfortably. Jason, however, doesn't handle mixed content well, so people may not be able to read it in its natural order. Just as how people may feel uncomfortable around a girl with a short skirt. Okay, I think it's enough about girl skirts. The point is that there's no best skirt lens. Just as a girl wears a skirt with the lens best suit her, we should choose either XML or JSON depending on which best suits our lens. So now, can we go back to our lecture? like different kinds of dates, depending on their personality. Similarly, different kinds of data structures is more suited to be stored in either a relational database or XML database, depending on their data types. To illustrate, take a look at this girl. See, this girl is a very regular girl, with a large number of well-organized data packets, I mean books. It means she is a data-centric document. Yes, and that means that she should be taken on a properly structured, well-planned date that caters specifically to her preferences. Yes, similarly, we should put this data-centric document into a relational database which has a rigid structure and well-defined schema. Now, let's look at this other girl. This girl is a wild person with a irregular personality. You never know what she's going to do next. That sounds like document-centric document. Which have an irregular structure that may change in the future. Yes, that means that this girl should be taken on a date that is flexible, so that the activities can be changed at any time to suit her very needs. Similarly, document centric documents should be stored in XML database, which is more flexible and can accommodate irregular data structures. Remember to tailor your date with the girl depending on her personality and select your database choice depending on the data type. Regular data-centric documents should be stored in a rigid and relational database. And irregular document-centric documents should be stored in a flexible XML database. So, teacher, we have learned what a good date is like. Should we come up with a planned schedule whenever we go on a date? Well, yes, just like relational databases have schemas, we should have planned for a date so that everything will go according to a plan. Oh, so how about XML? Isn't XML schemaless? Just like how a date with a fan loving girl should be free and flexible. Yes, but you still should have some plan so that everything will go well. Just like XML can also be structural with schemas. Yes, you can define an ETD or document type definition for XML to define the formats of elements, attributes, etc. This is just like how 
how he would list the places he would go to on a date. But does this format lack extensibility and structural variability? Yes, which is why we also have a more advanced schema language called XML Schema Definition, or XSD. It is written in XML, is more extensible, and can have more complicated relationships and restrictions. So, instead of just listing the places you would go to on a date, we can also list some complicated details such as ticket prices and potential spots for photos. That's right! Just like you should use schedules to plan out your dates to make sure that they proceed well, you should use schemas like DTD or XSD to make sure that your XML documents are valid. So we learned so much about dating, but at the end of the day, the question is, how do we know if we will ever find the right girl? Well, don't worry, there's so many girls out there. Just have to keep That's right. Similarly, there are many languages that derive from XML. So, if you are embarking on a project, you should be able to find one use app of XML that suits your specific purpose. Yeah, for example, if I like math, I should find a guy who likes math as well. Just like how people who wish to display math equations can consider using math ML. Yes, and if you really like music, go find a girl who plays musical instruments so that you can practice together. Just like how people who want to display musical notations can use music. So, let me see it again. XML, like dating, offers virtually infinite possibilities. It all depends on whether you know the rules and the principles behind the process, and whether you can use the process to your benefit. As we hope, you can go back what you have just learned to improve both the dating life and application design. But just remember, try not to write more than one XML document at the same time.